tourism industry is taking steps to beef up security in the sector. Minister Patricia DeLille has addressed this with several stakeholders. Provincial tourism MECs, the South African Police Service, the MPA, and those in the private sector have met to coordinate a strategy to help tourists, to keep tourists uh, safe rather. DeLille says safety is a concern in many parts of the world and this has been echoed by several tourism ministers which she's engaged with in the recent weeks. Let's unpack this further. We're now joined by Michael Tolman from the Tourism Business Council of South Africa. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Michael. We do appreciate it. I think that's probably one of the biggest concerns and challenges that the tourism sector faces, especially here in South Africa, um, looking at our recent crime stats and looking how tourists are often attacked um, here in South Africa. How is the tourism sector going to deal with this and try and uh, make South Africa a safer space? It's obviously a collaboration with all stakeholders, but it's obviously going to be a very difficult one to achieve. Well, good evening, Heidi. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yes, this is uh, probably our biggest issue in our sector. We're uh, firstly very grateful that tourism has uh, returned and we're seeing huge demand for our beautiful country, both domestically and internationally. So this is the one thing that still uh, worries us, probably is the largest barrier for significant growth so that tourists can come and enjoy our country and uh, go back and spread the word of what a great country South Africa is to visit. We met with the minister only two months ago, and we agreed wholeheartedly that we need to do something about this. We need to come together. And the first thing we agreed was that we need a close partnership working together between the sector and government. And... Uh, the meeting that we've just had reflects that. The minister called this meeting two months later and asked the sector, worked with the sector up through this period, to come out with measures that can address what we feel is uh, something that we, we can make a contribution towards. So we came together. This is the first type of meeting that we've ever had in our sector, certainly, where we shared various aspects of what we're all doing together in the private sector and the public sector. And there are many things we're doing and many things that are working very well. So that was really heartening to be sharing um, these ideas and also what is working and to be able to roll that out further across the country. Um, so it was, a, I would say, an excellent meeting. Um, and we've also agreed to continue those collaborations, those meetings. And already, even after this meeting, we've had close meetings with the department and uh, fruitful meetings. And there's a great relationship. There's really now, I would say, with the minister's outstanding leadership, there's actually a partnership going on. And it's going on at a, a, a rapid pace. We have agreed with the minister's support to roll out through the TBS, TBCSA, the Tourism Business Council, um, an app which is really going to bring, we believe, peace of mind to our tourists. Um, it's an app that is already in the marketplace. It's called Secura. And it's used already domestically uh, to, uh, at quite an extensive level. It's been used uh, also by tourists, domestic tourists. And what we're doing with the minister's support is we're going to roll out what is already in existence by one of our associations called SATSA. They took this app and used an initiative to develop the app for travelers with support around it um, to support travelers for their particular needs. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to roll this out from July, is ramp up that support with professional services as well as what SATSA already has, which is volunteers. We're going to ramp it up so that we can do a wide distribution. We've also coming out with a plan to roll this out through the sector to begin with, through tour operators, through travel agents, yeah. and also through other measures that we're working on. This app will basically um, allow you, for example, if you have a medical issue, 
coming to this country older. It will give you the comfort that if you have any medical issues, you can press this app and uh, within 15 minutes, an ambulance will be there to assist you. If you have any other issues, you're driving a car, you're, you get lost or your car breaks down, you can also call the security side and on average of five to six minutes, you'll have a, the, the, the closest security, private security vehicle will be there to assist you. So we think this app will bring peace of mind to people who want it. Yeah. And we're certainly going to roll it up and make it available. So Secondly, what came out of, the, out of the meeting, which I think is very important, is um, the government's going to roll out 60 sites across the country with tourist monitors at each of these sites. And they'll be there to assist and uh, tourists and just make them feel comfortable help them with any information they'll need. And we know from history that this does make the area safer, both for tourists, domestic and international, and for local residents. So we're excited about that. I run a tourism company, uh, Cullinan Holdings, which has about 30, over 30 businesses in inbound, outbound, and vehicles across the country. And this is my biggest worry. And with these two, the rollout of these two programs, I really am confident that we've taken decisive steps, that this is a game changer. Sure. And they'll be in place mm. for this season. Yes, sorry to interject there, Michael. I just want to ask in terms of the establishment of the National Tourism Safety Forum, all these interventions that you've just mentioned, the app and these sites, does that form part of uh, the National Tourism Safety Forum that has been established by the Minister to address these challenges, especially the safety concerns? It does, but there are also others. There are many other, other, other yeah. uh, uh, measures that we've discussed, and we came out of that meeting with plans uh, on how to deal with that. We are talking for example, our sector, as I said, very closely with the department around some of those plans. But I think the most important thing is that the minister was very clear that she is going to be working hard to to implement many of those measures. And uh, that gives us a lot of confidence as our sector that we're on the right path. And we certainly began the journey uh, with this meeting. Okay, that's great news, uh, Michael. I just want to end off by, uh, you know, as much as you're saying there are these interventions and the, there are going to be these plans, for example, an app, if I think about, for example, my parents, um, they are not tech savvy. They don't, they will not be able to use any sort of app. Um, and people looking into South Africa going, I actually don't want to go there. I don't want to risk my life despite these interventions. What is your message to them? Because uh, domestically, it's almost as though South Africans, as much as we live with the reality of um, possibly being murdered or attacked every single day, because that is unfortunately our reality here, um, those looking in are saying, well, I have a choice not to go to South Africa and I'll rather go to another country. What you as the Tourism Business Council of South Africa, what is your message to tourists wanting to come in here, um, even though you have all these interventions and they're saying, well, that actually isn't really good enough for us. We still don't feel safe and we'll rather pick another destination. Heidi, I would say that um, the vast majority of tourists are coming to this country. Uh, it's, it's a safe place to visit. We do have crime issues, as many other countries do. But tourists coming in, generally speaking, is a very small portion of the issues that crop up in this country. So we want to make sure that the sites have monitors at all the key sites that, that tourists would visit to make them feel comfortable. And that when they're staying in hotels in our country, they feel safe and they can travel around. So I certainly don't feel, whilst it is a issue and it's an issue we want to deal with i don't think it's an issue that um is right now stopping people coming to this country we've seen a huge amount of people coming they're traveling safety safely they're enjoying our country and they're going home but what we want to do is give them a greater peace of mind so they go home after going to visit sites and saying how nice it feels to see monitors there, how nice it is that if they want an app, it's not an app for everybody, 
It's an app that also is not just, it's about really also safety. It's about um, health. So if they want an app, you're traveling, you're older, and you're traveling around and you want to just have that safety and comfort, that's what this app is for. But generally speaking, our tourists are traveling and they're having a wonderful time. They're traveling home and we want to make that better, more comfortable and give them greater peace of mind. That's what this is all about. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's hope it makes some sort of difference um, as we do want uh, tourists. South Africa is a beautiful country and of course we need uh, international tourists and local tourists to boost our sector. Thank you so much for your time. That was Michael Tolman from the Tourism Business Council of South Africa.